let's discuss. Rachel back again with another reaction video and today I will be checking out a new track from Downswing called New Lows. I'm very stoked because their most recent track besides this, No Solution, I have been loving. I've been listening to it nonstop every day, usually multiple times a day. I cannot get enough of it. I loved it when I made the video for that track when it dropped. And big shout out to Jonathan Dolis who did the mixing mastering on both that track and this one. He had put them back on my radar. I had listened to them before, but these two tracks, they have a new vocalist uh, and the sound is just, it's something much different. Um, I like their older stuff, but I love this this new sound of this one track that I've heard, but um, I'm hoping new lows will be in that same vein for me of that same quality. I cannot recommend that track enough if you happen to be watching this and haven't listened to it yet. So I will link all of their social media as well as the music video I'll be reacting to in the description as well as Jonathan Dolis's information. He works with some amazing bands, always does fantastic work. So that will be there as well. Other than that, I'm going to stop talking and we are going to get straight into it. Downswing, new lows, let's discuss. If these two singles are off of a release that is upcoming, this release is bound to be played into the oblivion by me. This will go right on repeat for me. I Though No Solution will be my favorite of the two tracks because of, I think like with this, I, I love the you know the two-steppiness of it uh, the call outs how it just comes in straight away with that energy like that opening line swing style or i think it, it was like not the opening but like you know in that first part uh swing style on that east coast shit you motherfuckers like i i love it and then the drops it was a 
heavy song that needed multiple breakdowns the way it had. Uh, it kind of dispersed that heaviness throughout the track. It's coming in, you know, out of the gate with that, it, it had to, and I felt like it, it did live up to that, especially like w just when it set in on the first breakdown. Um, I could tell at that point, I think that there was gonna be. Uh, I love like the mixture of personality and goofiness in the music video with the live performance, like seeing the pit in the video too. Some of those call outs, it makes it much more imaginable how uh, that pit might look uh, having that footage in the video. So for me, I love this new vocalist that they have. I think that it's a mixture of that and, and the production that I'm talking about and the the lyrical content on No Solution really appealed to me, and then having stuff like this, I can kind of see where the balance for them may lie, but who knows what else they might do. I love that toughness, but uh, the rawness in some of the lyrics of No Solution, sorry, my throat was like very dry, but I'm gonna try to power through it. Power through it. Anyhow. I don't remember what I was talking about. The point being, um, I'm probably just gonna end up rambling about how much I like this song, how tough it is. Um, and being a tough song like that too, and managing to be something that goes on repeat rather than being like, you know, I feel like it's very easy to do too much uh, to where it's like, um, you know, I've heard somewhere I'm like, ah, that sounds kind of like cheesy. I can't like put that on too much. But this had like the right balance of like, I don't know, the, the right delivery, I guess and of toughness and uh, musicianship and production, all of that put together. It's a, it's a absolute on repeat for me. So let me know what you thought in the comments. I am, this is easily becoming one of my most listened to bands. I would say No Solution is up there like in my top five favorite songs from this year so far. So uh, it's been a huge one for me. Let me know in the comments which one's been your favorite. Uh, I will link the music video, all of Downswing, social media and all that, as I mentioned, uh, Jonathan Dolis in the description. Other than that, you can also find my link tree, which will have all the stuff I mention in every video. The Discord server invites my Instagram for the music-related content. Uh, the community on Discord is amazing. Uh, my Instagram profile is merch and uh, what I'm listening to and shows. That's really what it is. So all of that can be found in the description. My Instagram profile is also just under my YouTube handle, which is Rachel Reacts. So you can look it up that way too if you have any interest in following me. Other than that, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. As always, I appreciate it. <laughs>